a lie. There is therefore no condemnation for those of us who are in Christ Jesus for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made us free from the law of sin and death. Yeah, you messed up, but it's time for you to stand before the judge and admit that you're guilty and he's going to offer you a plea bargain. Mess my notes up. Such a name and say he's going to offer me a plea bargain. Y'all ain't going to help me. Somebody say a plea bargain, a plea bargain. This scripture says, for he has made him, oh, he has made him to be sin for who? Us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Touch your name and say, I know sin. He don't know sin. In other words, I'm going to show up to court and take your place. Let me try that again. Somebody say, I thank God. He showed up to court and took my place. I was guilty. Guilty as charged. Should have got the sentence that came with it. For the wages of sin, according to Romans 6 and 23, is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. Touch your name and say, I should have been sentenced to death. But in comes a man from Nazareth. Y'all ain't going to talk to me. Born in, y'all looking at me like I'm crazy. Born in Bethlehem, the word Bethlehem mean the house of bread. He said, what I will do is I'll take and fill all your empty places in your life and I'll become your sustenance. And some of y'all, you know, you're so comfortable and conditioned to sin. You don't even get moved when people start preaching against sin. Y'all ain't going to help me. You're so comfortable. You're comfortable sitting in church and coming and waving your hands through the worship song. But there's a few of us that have conviction hearts and we're making up in our mind as sure as we know that the Lord's return is near and it's more nearer than when I first believed I don't know about y'all I'm making up in my mind I'm gonna be ye also ready for no man knows the day nor the hour that the son of man shall return touch your name and say stop playing with your life stop committing spiritual suicide y'all ain't gonna talk to me in here touch your name and say hell is a very real place and the Bible said that it is enlarging itself daily it's making room for you, but touch your name and say, I don't know about you, but I don't plan on going to hell. Well, preacher, I've been hearing that the Lord is going to return any day all my life. <laughs> touch your name and say, don't trip, don't trip, don't trip. Say, don't trip because one day is like a thousand days to God. A thousand days is like one day. In other words, he's not bound by time. You're sitting here counting down, but you don't understand. It may not be through the cracking of the sky that he may return. It may be when you die and open your eyes. Y'all ain't going to help me before a righteous judge. Am I talking to the right people? For the believer, if you die to be absent in the body to be present with the Lord but to the unbeliever if you die you shall open your eyes in hell and like the rich ruler when he looked up he looked up to the very man who was at his gate named Lazarus y'all ain't gonna talk to me and who was asking for alms and he would give him none he looks up and then he looks towards heaven from hell and he says do me a favor while well, he's seen him laying in Jesus in Jesus bosom he said let him drop a drop of water on my tongue so I can be cool and then he turned around and said do me one more favor Sin somebody to tell my family and tell everybody you don't want to come here touch your neighbor say you can 